All right, Saul, the Spider Almeida taking on Kevin K. Rod Roddy out of Pellegrino MMA in Bricktown, New Jersey. Roddy has at least one in one category in the body art department. Yeah, Harvard absolutely. From head to toe. You know, like you said before the fight, don't let that record. You exactly. know, he's got more losses than Saul's got fights. He also has more wins than Saul has. You know, that, that tells you something. A lot of experience behind those fights. This one would certainly be a candidate to go the distance. Roddy's only been knocked out twice in his career, and eight of his 24 fights have gone the distance. And it's worth noting the combined record of the last three opponents he's lost to is 25 and 11. So he's been in there against some good competition. Almeida would certainly add to that resume at 10 and 1. Without a doubt. You can see Saul being very busy. Roddy snapping that overhand left, trying to catch Almeida. Similar frames for both fighters, Scott. Yeah, so it's just a little bit taller, a little lanky. It looks like right, very nice double front leg. But by so, but it just, I think, uh, right is just a little thicker. And in a, in a clinch, and so it pins him against the cage there. Yeah. Looks like she still has double underhooks. Roddy's looking, working double overs, trying to get off the fence. And this is typically where Almeida excels, a submission specialist if there ever was one. Doing very well at the... Very well with controlling him. Roddy's trying to get off that cage, and so he's doing a great job of keeping pressure on him. Nice. See, there he goes. It looked like... You know, Roddy was getting off, and so it puts him back on. Three minutes to go in round number one. Almeida relentless and just pressing Roddy against that cage. Trying to get underneath and grab that leg. Maybe get that takedown. I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. I think there's a nice elbow off the, the would-be break, and so it puts him back against the cage. I think that's all Sewell's trying to do is just change it up, not lay there, not try to have the referee uh, break them. He, he likes the clinch game. He's pretty proficient at it. Stop. Stop. Stalemate. Come on. A referee breaking it up there. Just not much going on against the cage and a pretty good decision here to get it back toward the center of the ring. Well, you, you, if you heard what Kevin said, he said stalemate. Right. You know that no one's moving. You guys are at an impasse. It's not, no one has advantage. Nice exchange by both fighters there. Both fighters shaking up a bit on that exchange. Looks like they both caught the uh, business end of a right hand. <laughs> and again, Almeida has Roddy against the cage. Roddy doing a good job just keeping his balance and not getting down. Because once you get down on that mat against Almeida, it can end quickly. We've seen it in the past. Oh, without a doubt, he, nice takedown, Great job nice by sweep Almeida. by Almeida, Super right into delayed. side control. But you watch Rowdy immediately, veteran experience, starts walking the fence, getting ready to you know, either a quick push off or defend here. We've seen it a couple of times tonight where the fighters have done that and able to reverse those holds. Right. And it looks like, like you said, Rowdy's trying to do the same thing. Certainly easier said than done. Without a doubt. Now you see what Rowdy did is he blocked that, that triangle around Saul's head. Rowdy's head's actually in between Saul's legs, and he made the reverse. Nice job, Almeida, to just pull his head right out from between the legs of Kevin Roddy, and now get the reverse, trying to get behind him. Looks like he's trying, he, Rowdy trying to attack the leg. Saul looking to try to get mount here. And the spider, as he is custom to do, is using every inch of his frame to keep Roddy pinned down. One minute to go in the first round of three in the lightweight division. Kevin Roddy and Saul Almeida. Co-feature in the main event are on deck. Saul breaks free for a second, trying to land a couple of overhand rights and lefts. Roddy doing a nice job in defense here, too. Again, Roddy attacks the knee to make the sweep. Well done. Gets right back on his feet and just pushes Almeida down. He has that foot stepped over. If you look, Roddy's all half through, past the half. Great job. 
Not much time left. But Rowdy definitely reversed the uh, a very bad position. As you were saying, he was getting taking some shots there. 10 seconds to go in round number one. Great sweep by Saul trying to get back up. Rowdy lands in. Good finish by Roddy landing a couple of rights. If he feels good, yeah, stand him up. Let him get some really big deep breaths in. You saw Almeida with his hands on his trainer's shoulders. Sometimes Absolutely. in boxing, when the fighters sit down, they don't make a note to put their hands on the ropes. Exactly. Keep keeps it open the ribs up. Yeah, it keeps the, uh, the lungs opened up. All right, round number two of three between Saul Almeida and Kevin Roddy. Almeida trying the quick kick early on. I don't like the way Saul backs himself into the cage. Roddy's really... Roddy caught that kick and yeah. he landed the knee. You're right. He kind of backs up as he throws it. You see Toe's back again right to the cage. Rowdy just timing and coming forward here. That time he just leaned right in, Scott. Yeah. And then just stuck the leg out kind of like a courtesy kick. Didn't really put much on it and Roddy <laughs> caught it. I'm going to use that terminology, Michael. Hope it's not copyrighted. Courtesy kick. Nice one, huh? <laughs> nice takedown by Toe. Almeida doing what he does best. Roddy just trying to dig that elbow in and break up the hold and does so successfully. Roddy not bad in defense, very similar to Sean Marmis in the last bout, though he spent a lot of time on his back, did a great job defending himself. You can see Sol trying to pass. He's got one leg over. He's gonna try to make his way. It looks like he's, I can't see underneath. It looks like he's trying to lock up a guillotine. It looks like he's trying to lock up that guillotine from the top. He's, can't see underneath it. He's working something. Ah, might be it. Might be it. Can you do this effectively without standing him up? Absolutely. That's all you gotta do is hips forward and get pressure down on him. You want the back of Rowdy's head almost so you can't see it. So his chin's bent totally forward. It's what Saul's trying to do is to try to get a hold of his left bicep with his right hand. And certainly Almeida seems intent on trying he's to get the submission. Go. Not throwing any punches to try to soften up Roddy. I think he's got one goal in mind. He's going for it. Yeah, that's what he was definitely doing until he let it go for sure. I think he felt he had a really advantageous position. Three minutes to go in round number two. Roddy just, just scrambling very well to, to threaten those, uh, those submissions. Probably snuck in a short left. Yeah, and a nice out short elbow right there as well. Amita again just smothering Roddy in round number two. Very similar to round number one. Again, Roddy using that, that inside hook, that inside butterfly to sweep and roll. So it forces the hold to get his balance before he does anything else. Can't attack anything, can't strike if you're trying to worry about your balance. Now he's looking like he's going for the Kimura. He stepped over with the Kimura. He has Mount and a Kimura now. He's got his, got his, uh, his grapevine. Yes, yeah, so he's got full extension on those uh, on his legs. So so long. That's why they call him the Spider. Those long legs just make it so difficult for anybody. Even Roddy, who is of similar height, it's just tough for him to defend himself. In this Without spot. a doubt, I like to see short elbows here from Saul on top. Don't think he was going for it for a second. Roddy not really giving him much room to work with. Might be a you can too see high up here, actually. You can see his experience. Roddy's calm. You know, he's, he's yeah. really not pushing. He's not panicked. And a great sweep right there. 24 Just great fights. sweep reversal. You yep. see it. 11 and 13, but that's 24 professional fights. That's right, Mike. Now Roddy just pounding the top of the head with his left hand. Yeah, so it looks like he's trying to get this arm bar. Roddy's defending it. So he needs to extend his hips and drive, his, drive those heels down. You can see he's just trying to eke out that right arm of, of Rowdy's and pull it straight up. He's trying, but I don't think he... Rowdy's defending well. I don't know, he might have it now. Is he, he, Rowdy's grip's broken. Now you got it back over. Roddy will, Roddy will start throwing punches here. Yes, he passed. Nice defense. So he was trying to get that arm bar and got kind of reversed in the process. 40 seconds to go in round number two. It's been relentless on the ground through two rounds. Absolutely tough fight. Definitely taking a lot out of both fighters. Roddy pulled that guillotine very quickly, jumped that guillotine. 
He's got it deep. I can't see if both his hands are together. I don't know how deep that is, but you can see like the back of his soul's neck is, is high. The top of his head you can't see. That that's usually represents that it's fairly deep, but it looks like Roddy let it go. You know, to to Sewell's credit defending that and Roddy's as well for saying that I'm gonna give up on it and not exhaust myself with it. And that's it for round number two. Again, the action going to the ground right away and both fighters just grinding it out. And this one, a lot tougher than I think most people might have expected. When you have a losing record of, of like Roddy's 11 and 13 with the caliber guys he's fought, what's that tell you about a guy? That tells you he's in it, he's tough, he's strong, he keeps coming, enjoys the sport, obviously. That's a lot of fights to have a loser record. Ooh, Roddy with a left, left hand. hand, he gets Almeida down for a bit. I think he stunned him momentarily. Let's see if he can make something of it here. It's early on in round number three. Sewell still looks like he's trying to uh, try to hit that single, but. Amita, as he's been most of the fight, has Roddy's back against the cage here. He's trying, trying to get to, that takedown. Yeah, he's trying to get that single. He's trying to secure that leg and turn it. But now you see how Sewell reaches under and gets his back leg. He picked that ankle to, to get Rowdy down. It was very well done. See how Roddy's just look at the, the flexibility and the stretch out. And he's trying to sprawl now with a leg trapped in, and now he's trying to take Sewell's back. It's a great scramble for position right here. Looks like Roddy's trying to come over the top. He's close. He's also trying to attack Sewell's left arm. Three and a half minutes to go in the third and final round. Saul Amida versus Kevin Roddy. A lightweight showdown at 155 pounds. Sewell drops for a takedown again. And you see how he picks the back ankle again. It's real, you know, he picks that back ankle and takes him right back down. Well done. Almeida doing a great job doing what he does best, just a physically overpowering presence on the ground. Roddy, of course, holding his own defensively. Yeah, you really can't expect anything less of, uh, of Roddy. Uh, he's, he's a veteran fighter, he's tough. He, you know, he, doesn't, he doesn't go in there to lose a fight by any means. You can see that. And again, Roddy's using the defense to, to walk around. Now he's attacking that knee. He's using it at minimum, if not a, a lock. He's looking for that ankle lock. He's using it as a sweep. He's got that for a second. It was a good reversal by Roddy, but yeah. Almeida just couldn't. If you can't get the submission, it's a, it's a great sweep. Now Roddy's got Sulu's back. Roddy leaning in with those left hooks, those uppercuts trying to catch Almeida. See, so he'll try to wrap his arms around his leg, pinch yeah, both, both legs. legs for a second there. And he'll pinch that back ankle again. Very good job of wrestling on that team. Thing. Almeida's wrestling experience showing off big time in this bout. Two minutes to go in the bout. You see a real slow pass there. Did a great job to trap that leg underneath him. So he's very patient. And here's Sol's corner giving him instructions. He's, they're right on top of Sol's corner. Roddy's looking to stuff the head and try to get his hips out. If he can pop out of there for a second, he can get back to his feet. Possibly set up the final minute here of this third round. There he nice goes. push out very well. Done. Nice call, Mike. I think Rod's listening to you. you should keep calling. <laughs> 112 to go. And Roddy just keeps sprawling. You know, you see how Sewell from his knees attacking that takedown. Relentless. Does a great job of just getting a, a hold of those legs and getting those takedowns. It's very technically sound, Saul Almeida. And his length, his length, you, you know, you, again, like you said, the spider, you think you're far enough away and he's pulling you in somehow or another. It's impossible to stay away from him. He uses every inch of that cage to his advantage. 
45 seconds to go here in this one. And you can see Rowdy right there throwing those elbows. He's trying to move that arm out of the way and attack with those elbows just to make him uncomfortable. Make him defend that strike so he doesn't attack or advance his position. Saul trying to get his back. Nice takedown by Saul. He's trying to. And this fight really has been a great sequence of takedowns for Saul Almeida throughout tonight. Another strong showing. Again, Roddy attacking that knee bar. So it was very low on, you know, on Roddy's back. Final seconds of this bout. Saul, the spite of Almeida, Kevin K. Rod Roddy. And this one's gonna go the distance. So that's three rounds in the books. A, a tough fight in yeah, some regards to Paul. I think uh, Saul Almeida certainly asserted his will and authority. Ladies and gentlemen, after three five minute rounds, let's go to the judges' scorecards for your official decision. And we have a split decision. Judge Avery scores the bout. 30 to 27, Almeida. Judge Asmar has the bout 29 28, Roddy. Judge Lamontagne scores the bout 30 to 27 for your winner by a split decision, Saul the Spider.